I have a very special video for you. I'm going to show you my collection of new minidisc releases. Yes, new music released on the minidisc format with fully printed packaging and pressed disc labels. These were all purchased this year through Bandcamp. If you couldn't tell, I'm a big fan of vaporwave, retrowave, and synthwave genres, and all these albums are in that vein. There's a hot market for pre-recorded minidisc albums from the time when major record labels were releasing in the format. There's a second-hand market on eBay and Discogs where you can find those. For example, Pink Floyd's The Wall goes for over $200. A set of Radiohead albums sold for $350, and Michael Jackson's Invincible sold for $750 on eBay. While those are rare and collectible, new music from independent artists can be had for much cheaper, and the money goes to support their work and shows demand for the minidisc format, keeping it alive. How do you find new music on minidisc? Stay tuned to the end of the video for more info. So let's get into my collection. First up, I've got Cut by Confrontational. This album was released in 2023 by the New Retrowave label, which is a very prolific uh, label you can find on Bandcamp. Lots of physical releases, and you can also find them on YouTube. The genre of this is dark synth, hard dark synth, and industrial electro rock. Um, this one was $16.29 with shipping, so really not expensive at all for new music. Uh, you can see the disc is uh, fully pressed. It comes in red, which fits the aesthetic perfectly. And it's got a label on the side, which you can see through the case. This J card is fully printed. It's got a track listing and it folds out. And you've got um, credits, dedication, um, copyright information. This is all physical stuff. Um, if you recall when you used to buy CDs and tapes and vinyl, you'd have liner notes to look at while you're listening to the album. It's something you just don't get with streaming and is uh, one of the things that endears me to the mini disc format. Next I have Still Going Strong by Shades of Thunder. This was also released in 2023, also on the new Retrowave label. It's more retro synth and electro rock with vocals. This was also 1629 with shipping. Opening it up, you can see again, fully pressed disc with that great artwork of that 80s bedroom. This one has the track listing right on the disc itself and it comes in this orange color. There was also another color and I don't recall what that was, but it was sold out. Fully printed J card, track listing. Um, it's got uh, all of the uh, the new Retrowave labels on it, pictures of the artists. You can actually see who makes this music. Um, special thanks, dedication. Uh, and it's even got lyrics to the song here. Switching musical gears now, I've got Level Select by Pizza Hotline. This is a very well-selling album. It was released in 2022. It's a drum and bass style uh, with samples from PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games. This one was a little bit more expensive. It was $24.49 with shipping. I really like this artwork. It's very minimalist, cool blue and white, uh, which evokes that Y2K aesthetic uh, with the big original Sony PlayStation controller, uh, which is ironic because it's on a Sony mini disc. The Y2K aesthetic carries on to the J card with these low poly mountains, the cool whites and blues of the sky, and these hovering shiny balls, which were very much in the pop culture at the time. Uh, this music is obviously inspired by uh, Y2K video games, and the description for this is liquid soaked low poly 3D dreamscapes. Next up, I have a classic piece of uh, retro wave music. This is Scandroid, Scandroid's debut uh, album. It originally released all the way back in 2016. Uh, this one I got uh, this year. It's a special edition re-release, um, and it was $26.53 with shipping. Now, Scandroid has come out and said that they're going to be doing a lot of mini-disc-themed merch coming up in 2024, which I'm really looking forward to. You can tell they really took their time designing this label with these angular cutouts showing the disc underneath the label and making it part of the overall art. Moving over to the J card, you can see it's beautifully printed. The colors really pop. Track listing on the back folds out. You can see all this cyberpunky type artwork. 
really cool stuff if you're into the retro wave synth wave uh music genre really happy to have this one now the last one i've got for you is called stationary play which is a compilation by various artists uh including wizard of loneliness and us golf 95 this was released in 2021 uh, it's really remixes from PlayStation games in the style of Vaporwave and Retrowave. Uh, this one was only $13.50, uh, including shipping. The artwork on the disc is very funky. It's a remix of the PlayStation buttons themselves, uh, which is a reminder that this is all remixes of PlayStation music. back of the J card you've got the PlayStation power and reset buttons from the original console and the listing of all the tracks and the artists. Unfortunately this is not a fold out J card. So there you go there's my collection of new music on mini disc. I've got five in the collection so far and I plan on adding more as new releases are available. As a bonus I want to show you these brand new mini discs. You can still buy blank mini discs from Sony. They're still producing them. These are mainly available in Japan from what I understand, but you can easily buy them online. At the time of this recording, a pack of 10 costs $68, which is a very steep price in my opinion. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if this is how some producers are obtaining new discs to sell their music on. Okay, so at the beginning of this video, I promised to tell you how I find new music on mini disc. Like I said, the main place I'm buying albums is Bandcamp. Unfortunately, Bandcamp doesn't have a filter specifically for Minidisc. You'll have to look under Compact Discs and then filter through the results to see if there's a Minidisc version of the album that you're interested in. There's also a site called I Want to Release that lists Vaporwave Minidiscs for sale uh, that are not sold out. There's also Discogs for finding secondhand discs, um, and all links will be provided in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and happy recording.